With the news breaking that Las Vegas Raiders defensive tackle Jonathan Hankins was traded to the Dallas Cowboys, yeah, that happened. Uh, I don't think it's actually a cause for concern. Now we're actually going to bring in the Dallas Cowboys. Now, by the way, I'm bringing you back here for a second in my brother's home. Uh, you know, you'll see the drywall and, and the paint job. Yes, I know he's figuring out life like the rest of us. But he's building a porch. I'm proud of him. He's uh, he's becoming a grown up. But uh, anyway, <laughs> he's my older brother, so I can't say that. Anyway, so the Dallas Cowboys Network Cowboys are sending a 2023 sixth round pick to the Raiders for defensive tackle Jonathan Hankins and a 2024 seventh round pick. I I. I'm not against this trade. In fact, I kind of like it, especially when you consider the fact of, uh, I don't want to say to a degree of how much he has, uh, I, how much of the last snaps that he has gotten. We'll take a look over the snaps over the last, what, five games here. You'll see, uh, yes, I don't think he played by the, against the Chiefs either, by the way. So you'll see here 32 the first week, 33 the second week, 28, 16, and 12 against the Texans. And I think it's really more of an indication of a lot of different things. Also, uh, Vincent Bonsignor, the legend Vinny, out there tweeting that you know I, I think that uh, oh actually I, I got the tweet right here FYI on Raiders trade of Jonathan Hankins the continued progress of rookie D tackles Neil Farrell Jr. and Matthew Butler I put the junior in there because yeah and Matthew Butler played a role in the decision to trade Hankins so you're seeing a lot of these younger players uh, you know that are really getting a role uh, and starting to establish themselves in this Raiders defense but what does it all mean okay so we're gonna show you what um, you know what these defensive tackles have done for the Raiders including John Jonathan Hankins. So you'll see here the current Raiders, their sat, their, their excuse me, their stats, their sacks, their pressures, their quarterback hits, their PFF grade. You look there on the fourth guy down. We should put him number one, but it is what it is. Uh, you know, Jonathan Hankins. I know he's been grading out uh, relatively well against the run, but you know, Jonathan uh, Hankins. There are ten total tackles on the year, one quarterback pressure, one hit but does have a 51.8 PFF grade. And then you look at the rest of these guys, Bilal Nichols, uh, who I believe is the best Raiders pass rushing defensive tackle at this time. Andrew Billings there, um, who has really shown a lot as well. He's got a 72.9 PFF grade. But then look at the rookies. Neil Farrell Jr. with the asterisk. Yes, yes. Matthew Butler and Neil Farrell Jr. both um, are having a tackle. I think Neil Farrell Jr. has literally played like 31 snaps and Matthew Butler has played seven Seven, yes. Uh, no, we're not uh, giving a shout out to the black sheep miles per hour done by Chris Farley. That's actually how many snaps he's played, and he's got two. Uh, he's got two tackles through seven snaps. I don't, I'm not no mathematician, but I feel like that's a pretty good success rate. So I, I think you are really are seeing some of these uh, defensive tackles, younger defensive tackles for the Raiders that are getting a little bit more run. They're establishing themselves, and honestly, I think this is the best thing for the team moving forward. You know, they traded him. They got uh, what was it, a sixth this year, a seventh this year. They got a little bit of compensation, so they can continue to build through the draft next year they got their guys uh that are younger they're going to continue to be able to develop and i think what this means is you know specifically for the raiders defensive line they are relying on the talent that they drafted and plan to develop which i think is better for the team long term and I, i'm excited because i have felt like neil farrell jr and matthew butler deserve more of a shot uh, and really uh, just get to see what they can do because this way you know after a year or two, you can kind of see what you have in a younger players uh, and uh, just decide from there what you want to do. And I think these guys got a lot of talent uh, that, that the Raiders can really bank on uh, moving forward and in the future. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truly awesome. We love every single one of you. Down in the description below, you'll find all of our social media platforms. So give us a like and a follow there. Also remember to give us a listen and sub on iTunes. And finally, if you have anything else you'd like us to cover, send us an email at the sportsbp at yahoo.com, yahoo, or put in the comment section down below, and we would love to cover it. But at the end of the day, oh, first off, let us know what you guys think of our new studio for the day uh, in our brother's house. you got to love it. Then also let us know what you guys think about what the Jonathan Hankins trade means for the Las Vegas Raiders defensive line.